So when we look at the settings as well, um, in this um, section, when we look at general and we look at um, the settings in this section as a part two um, of this, we have options like Siri. Now Siri is the voice activated, voice searching um, function that allows you to do stuff on the fly without actually touching your iPad. So um, Siri for Australia was upgraded significantly so you can ask Siri where the latest petrol stations are, um, the nearest coffee shops and all those sorts of things. Um, but it all depends on you saying it clearly enough and what it's about. It's a little bit um, in between of usefulness and not usefulness, um, but it's up to you whether you have um, use of it. But the iPads now in iOS 6 and iPad 2 and up, I think it might actually be 3 and up, um, all have access to Siri as a general tool. And that's just done by double tapping the bottom of your iPad. Um, it also has the language and the voice feedback and the My Info, making sure you My Info because it'll refer to you by name. VPN um, connection, these are sort of connections that you use um, not as a general day-to-day -day, um, option but certainly from a school's perspective um, and for networks um, between business and business that require specific connection types, VPN is um, referred to as virtual private networks that can exist between two places. Um, the next one is iTunes Wi-Fi Sync. Um, what will happen is that um, if I'm within a Wi-Fi connection, say this iPad is connected to the um, I, um, to the, my Wi-Fi at school and so is my laptop where I sync my iPad to is also connected to the Wi-Fi on the same network. I can actually sync it between the two of them without actually putting in um, a cable. Now, syncing is the process by transferring or keeping up to date what's on your iPad and what's on your computer and your iTunes. So... Um, what I would do is in my iTunes, which I'll show you a little bit later, there'll be some iTunes tutorials on this. If I was to plug in my iPad, I'd be able to see on the left-hand side that there would be my iPad sitting there. I can choose what songs to sync across, so in other words, choose what songs come onto this iPad, what comes off it, what apps to have on here, what apps not to have on here, um, and be able to download different sorts of information simply by clicking and doing that. Traditionally, you would have had to do that via the cable setting on your iPad. So if I were to transfer one of my audio books onto my iPad to listen to, I would have had to plug in the cable into my laptop and then done the syncing from there. The Wi-Fi syncing allows me to um, simply do that by a click of a button by pushing sync in iTunes. It'll find my iPad on the network and then it would have then started to transfer the changes that I wanted on my iPad back to my um, laptop and my laptop back to my iPad. Spotlight search, um, this is sort of like the the setting for when I go to um, this section just here to have a look on my iPad. What it'll do is it'll give me the options um, to search when, for a keyword in any of these sorts of events. Um, and I can add or change. So if I wanted to look up a number, I could just start to type in that number. Say if you've got a phone call um, on your iPhone or your iPad, um, and you didn't know what whose number it was, then you could go in there and just type that in and it would come up. You can turn these on and off or delete them um, depending on what you wanted to do, but it's just another added function. Auto lock um, is the setting which allows your iPad to lock itself um, after a certain amount of time. So idle time for me is generally about two minutes. Um, I wouldn't want to set it much higher than that um, and you can certainly set it to lock never. Um, locking feature just allows you to walk away from your iPad knowing that there will be a passcode lock that we'll set at um, that we can have at the moment. Now, a passcode lock um, is simply um, a protection measure that exists on the iPad before anybody can get into it. So, where you've got passwords, the passcode lock is the setting or the the information you must type in before you can get onto the iPad. Um, and we're going to talk about that a little bit more in detail in the next um, part of these general settings.